My name is Ian Kaplan and I'm a professor of entomology at Purdue. There are several, probably about five reasons people give why monarchs are become endangered. Um, the primary reasons probably has to do with their, their, their food. So milkweed is the only thing that monarchs will eat. You know, monarch caterpillars, they won't eat corn leaves, oak leaves, only milkweed. And that's a very small group of plants. Milkweeds have declined in, in the Midwest over the past several decades. So as goes your food, that, you know, so goes you. Um, so that's the leading hypothesis. People also think that um, potentially climate change, there are some parasites of the adults that could be important, drift of insecticides, destruction of overwintering uh, forests in, New Mex or in Mexico where they overwinter uh, could be factors, but milkweed limitation seems to be the big, the big one. Because milkweed seems to be the big factor, um, most of the effort seems to be going into restoring milkweed in the landscape which is not easy because you need to restore a lot of it. And um, so most programs seem to be investing in uh, replanting milkweed, and that could be in home gardens. There's a lot of uh, interest in suburban and urban areas of, of, of planting more milkweed. Um, it could also be in roadsides and, and, and edges of agricultural fields. Um, but the key is to get more milkweed into the environment um, and to protect it and, and not have it contaminated by things like insecticides that could kill monarchs. So large tracts of milkweed that are protected from um, disruption. Monarchs are probably the most beloved insects. It's, you know, several states have it as their state insect. Um, they have monarch festivals all over the country. People love them because of their bright colors um, and their appearance. You know, elementary school classrooms use them as like their insect biology curriculum. Scientists use them as model organisms for understanding insect uh, plant relationships, their ecology, their evolution. So lots of reasons um, why monarchs specifically are important and their pollinators in the ecosystem. Um, but even if you don't care about monarchs, they're largely used by others as a type of canary in the coal mine. You know, if, if, if monarchs are not doing well, this is likely an indicator that something else is wrong in the ecosystem. So even if you don't care about monarchs, um, it could be one of these umbrella indicator species that pulls along other insects of conservation concern, as well as non-insect organisms too.